It's Life Lessons with a Holistic Approach. Welcome to Life Lessons with Leo. Hi everyone and thank you and welcome back to Life Lessons with Leo. I wanted to do a special video today. Um, as I stated in my last couple videos, I recently published a book called Flawed Perfection. And because I love reading so much, and because I love oracle and tarot cards so much, I actually went and created my own deck based off the chapters of my book, Flawed Perfection. So today is a special day. I wanted to go ahead and do my first run through of this deck um, and um, read the corresponding poetry that goes along with the cards that are pulled. So we're gonna pull one card and read the poetry that goes with it and see how we can apply the advice that is given in the poem to our day-to-day -day life. So I'm just gonna shuffle these cards until I feel the, feel the welcome stop. And while I'm shuffling, I'm clearing the space that I'm in. I'm asking my guides, angels, and ancestors to show up, to, to be with us, to just love on us a little bit, and allow our divinity to come through. One kick-ass adventure, how perfect. If you guys can see that, I, just, I love the backs of these cards. All right, let's find the corresponding poem. All right. It says, <laughs> my invitation, my challenge to you here is to journey into a deeper intimacy with the world and your life without any promise of safety or guarantee of reward beyond the intrinsic value of full participation. Oriah the Mountain Dreamer. I've quoted this many times before, but it's so appropriate in this moment. Not just, just I, but some others I know are journeying through some hardcore and heart-opening experiences right now. Honor that. Don't hold back what you are feeling inside. For those who love you, I promise will be there to support you as you transverse to a higher level of understanding within self and the world around you. This is the game plan. Bring your best to the table. Be unapologetic to what rises to the surface. Be true to your very authentic self, that raw feeling, earth shattering, sometimes frightening part of you. Then be playful some days. Let go of the reins. Stay up until 3 a.m. laughing at how stupid you felt an hour ago from being mad about nothing with the someone who stood unmoved as you unleashed like Mount Vesuvius. And they held the space with some quality, earth-shattering, unconditional love. There's a balance to it all, but no promise to where it all gets you. I guess we all have to just take the chance and see. That's life, right? One kick-ass adventure. Good luck, have fun, and much love as always from me to you. Hashtag even flow. Hashtag enjoy the journey. So my math teacher from years ago in college used to say enjoy the journey and it's been something that has stuck with me for so long. Um, it was one of those things where it's like we all hated doing these long math equations but he would always say to us enjoy the journey and he was like my hippie little math teacher. So let's go through and talk about this poem and how we can apply this lesson to our life, all right? The poem by Oriah the Mountain Dreamer. It's from her book, The Invitation. And let me, let me read this last part to you. It's without any promise of safety or guarantee of reward beyond the intrinsic value of full participation. And how hard is it sometimes for us to journey through life without getting a pat on the back, without someone checking in with us and being like, oh yeah, that was definitely the right decision. 
and even sometimes for our from our own self to to have this verification that I'm doing a good job I'm doing okay sometimes we just need to move forward and trust instinctually that we are making the right decisions, that we're saying the right things, that we're giving the right amount of attention to certain areas in our life. Sometimes we don't need to have someone and coddle us and say, oh yeah, you're doing great. Now, as we move on through some other parts of the poem, um, as we're coming up on the end of Mercury retrograde, I know a lot of us have been doing deep, deep shadow work, right? So when I say to allow yourself to journey through those hardcore moments, those dark night of the souls, this is exactly what I'm talking about. And we need to honor that, right? We need to not hold back what we're feeling inside. We need to trust that the people who are around us that truly love and support us are going to be there while we transverse to that higher level of understanding within the self or within the self, okay, and within the world. And I think it's really hard for us to have these earth-shattering revelations sometimes because we're so worried about judgment from the world. But if we're so worried about what somebody else will think of us, I always tell my kids, like, there's only one you, <laughs> and nobody, I mean absolutely no one, can do the special thing that you're meant to do here. There's space for you here that no one else is allotted to take. It's specifically just for you. So we need to not be afraid to transverse life and leave our mark no matter what we do, no matter if we feel like we need to be worldly renowned or whether we're just going to be the person in our town that everybody knows of. We need to not hold back what we are capable of doing, okay? Bring your best to the table. Be unapologetic unapologetically you be unapologetic about rising to the surface and being your authentic self why should we why should we carry this fear I understand as we grow up and some and we get checked by life and life's like hey you know mm, I'm not I'm not okay with that and neither should you be but when we're really living from our authentic self Life supports us. Life opens the doors for us. Life lays down the rose petals that we walk upon as we grace the world with who we really are. There's no embarrassment. There's no shame. It's just this beautiful shining like the sun. And when we're living from that space, oh my God, do we shine? Oh my God, do we shine? And I want everyone to challenge themselves. I want you to challenge yourself to enjoy your adventure. Enjoy what you're doing and be totally kick-ass and apologetic about it. And then have your playful days, right? Then be playful some days. Let go of the reins. Stay up until 3 a.m. laughing about how stupid you felt an hour ago from being mad about nothing. Being mad about nothing. Have some fun with yourself. I think as we become older, many of us feel like we lose our innocence. And I look at my kids and I'm like, I wanna keep them innocent as long as possible. But there's an inner child to all of us and that child never goes away. And I think sometimes that child is a representation of our ego kicking its feet and being like, I'm here, I'm here, give me attention, please. So. Take some time to nurture your inner child. Don't be afraid to be silly. Don't be afraid to dance in the store in the aisles and sing the songs that are coming on over the, over the intercom. Just allow yourself to be silly. Allow yourself to laugh at your anger, to laugh at your fear and say, oh my God, I can't believe I got so out of hand. What kind of a drama queen am I today? And that's okay to be a drama queen too. Just honor everything that arises, okay? There's a balance to it, it all, but no promise to where it all gets you. So every step that we take, everything is with purpose, right? We're not just going through life without any aim. We're not like an arrow shot in the dark. We need to let our heart be our guide, okay? And let our heart balance with our head, okay? Have logic, but at the same time, be okay to just be like a balloon and float and glide through life and live from your heart space and wear your heart on your sleeve. That's life, right? <laughs> That's life. 
So it's all just one kick-ass adventure. So I want to thank you guys. This is something that I'm going to start doing every week, uh, drawing one card and having a discussion about one poem and how its lessons can be taught for the day or for the week or for the month. <laughs> so I love you all and enjoy the journey, right? Enjoy it. Only you get to experience it through your eyes, through your heart, how you feel. And you're amazing and beautiful if no one has told you today. I hope you enjoy your journey. I hope you have one kick-ass adventure. I love you so much. Good night.